I've seen on your Instagram, you're pretty open about marijuana use. I mean, do you incorporate that all into your training into like, you know, going before you go to bed? I mean, how do you, or you just, do you just enjoy it? Uh, yes. <laughs> all of the, all of the, oh, all just... of the above. <laughs> I probably stoner you guys have ever met. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest and I, I don't hide that fact. It's not necessarily relevant to like, I don't walk up to somebody and be like, Hey, I'm a stoner, but it's more like, look at me, look what I'm doing. And check it out. You probably would have completely misjudged me if I just told you I smoked weed. So it's kind of like it, I kind of put it out there as an in-your-face. Um, I kind of like to fight the stereotype kind of thing. I, I'm kind of abrasive. Tony's like that, too. If you assume he's a certain way, he'll act that way, and he'll completely go along with your bullshit version, knowing fully in his mind that that's not actually how he is. So I kind of put this, the weed thing out there as kind of like, well, one, like stop judging people. And two, like, hey, stoners, quit judging yourselves because there's a lot of guilt that comes with it. And there's a lot of reasons why people smoke. And there's reasons why you shouldn't. And there's a lot of balancing to it, just like anything else. Um, but, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know, it does come off like that's all I do. My, You know, I've got family and friends that have an issue with it. But the amount of DMs I have from stoners and people who, who just incorporate weed and, and feel guilty about it or don't know how to use it. I mean, God, I've, I've helped so many people in the supplement shop just – on how to actually use cannabis for bodybuilding and lifestyle purposes. Like people who have never smoked, you know, I've, I've helped guide them. For, for people who are listening, like what is like a, a, some type of practical takeaway? Like how could you use, so for me, I'll, every once in a while I'll use a pre-workout because I enjoy that. It helps me in addition to using a regular pre-workout or maybe some other stack of pre-workouts that I'm using at the time. But yeah. what is, what are some of the ways that you like to use weed in bodybuilding okay so as far as the pre-workout method goes um one of my rules when i first got into it was you can't smoke before you take your pre-workout okay because then you're gonna forget don't smoke before you drive do a little bit right in the parking lot you're not supposed to get too high and three uh well don't get too high you gotta make sure you don't do that so really the whole point is just to do enough to where you have the uplifting effect, the, a little bit of psychoactive effect, but not to the point where you have ADHD and lights are scaring you and things like that. So I would say um, if you're the kind of person, just to try and give you guys an idea, if you're the kind of person who smokes a whole joint and it's it's too much or maybe like a couple hits, I would really just take one or two and hold your breath and just try to get the effect. And then I would take some sort of stimulant. That's very important when you're using cannabis if, you're, if you don't have energy because you could get lost. So a little bit of cannabis, a little bit of stimulants. And when you go in the gym, what is noticed by a lot of people is a mind-muscle connection that's not normally able to be found. Um, I think that's the running theme. Also, the ability to turn off pain to a certain extent. So for somebody like me who trains alone um, and trains stone, I have a really good time. Um, and I have to push myself without having somebody be able to give me partial reps. So I have to use lighter weight and I, I push through. So, you know, I'll do all kinds of extreme things because I don't feel pain. Dave, or, or test your levels, do you guys ever uh, you guys ever use weed for pre-workout? I saw no. Dave a little bit there while I was talking, so I feel like... I, I do sometimes. Dave, do you? Yeah, no, so I, I don't do it pre-workout. The only issue that I have is I'm extremely, extremely sensitive to THC, like more extreme than probably anyone you'd ever meet. Mm. Um, so like he's talking about taking a hit or two. I had to take a quarter hit and I can get ripped out of my mind. No joke. Um, now, what I've noticed is if I do it more than two days in a row, it affects my well-being and laziness over a long period of time, even yeah. even a quarter hit. So it's that's my threshold is two days max. So I can do it if I need help sleeping, a little bit of indica. Um, now, the issue with sativa that I have because I am so sensitive is it's great for people that are ADD, ADHD, um, to help them focus. So I used to, I did an experiment one time and it was, it was edible so I could dose properly. I figured out 2.5 milligrams. That's all it took. 2.5 milligrams helped me with focus now, but it did affect my sense of well being over that period of time, that two day threshold. And once I did third day, it like was a downward spiral effect and took me about a week to get back to normal. Um, but 2.5 milligrams was great. It just helped me with a sense of focus. Now the issue that I have with sativa though, and these blends is the fact that it makes you more sensitive to like, if you have an ache or a pain, let's say you have shoulder joint pain or something like that, you notice it more. It amplifies everything. Therefore you can get a good amount of muscle connection, but if you're starting to ache and pain, 
and you're fo- and you start to focus a little bit more on that, or you can just feel it and notice it more because high the senses. That's the reason why I won't smoke ever pre workout is because I just know myself. Um, but I do think indica is a great tool for contest prep um, for people that can't sleep instead Absolutely. of having to rely on. Yeah, like ambient. Yeah. Everyone's going to go to like ambient if you can even find it. And so like, why do you use ambient if you can do like what you just showed uh, was Morpho REM? I'll do Morpho REM because it has a bunch of 5 HTP in it, um, Ashwagandha, Sensoril. So yeah, it has at- all this all this great stuff in there. And then I'll combine it with a little bit of um, Indica if I need to. Like when I'm getting really deep, when I'm having to rely on stimulants to actually keep me awake and to keep me focusing to get through my actual day and my job. Um, that's when I think that marijuana comes into the equation as a great tool. Now that when that comes into play though, and you actually do need to help you sleep, like at a medicinal level, I will do like a quarter hit of indica before bed or something like that. That's the time when I really do it. I don't really, I do like sativa for the cognitive effects behind it. Um, because it levels me and you, you do want a little bit of stimulant with it, especially being ADHD like myself. Just a little bit, like I'm talking like 50 milligrams, probably plenty of caffeine with a little bit of sativa, very small amount. And it's a pretty leveled out effect. Now, the great part about combining the two together is it actually keeps your nervous system relatively relaxed where the stimulants can actually give you anxiety. So it kind of counteracts that anxiety feeling effect. So I think it's a great tool, what you're talking about, the sativa with the THC, um, just for me. I'm not one that can do it very frequently. So it's like once in a blue moon that I'll take like a hit. Let me connect that to steroids real quick in the sense that steroids are a big group of things. There's a lot of different things inside it. You got to play around and find your, your own algorithm that works together for you. Right? So when it comes to weed and uh, strains and, and terpene profiles and sativa indica hybrid things, um, because there's people out there who don't even agree that sativa indica and hybrid is respective to what it does. And I have had sativas that aren't actually uppers and I've had indicas that are functional. Um, so I agree. And I think that at the end of the day, you have to get a couple different ones, see how they make you feel. It's like when you look up an edible recipe and they're like, you know, try it out before you know, like what it really does. And if you need more, you take a little more. So you're saying two and a half milligrams. I'm saying 250 milligrams. Same for the same exact thing, you know, for the very small effect, which is which is really a tolerance thing too. I do yes, want to touch yes. on the other thing that you said, which was the affecting your day to day life. And so, you know, if you take it two days in a row, right, and it, it mentally declines you. Um, I, I've seen that happen, and not mentally decline. It just makes you like uncomfortable. Is that really what it is? Like you feel like easy. It's no, it, um, sense of, uh, urgency reduces. That's the right terminology. Sense okay. of urgency. Okay. Yeah. So like a lazy effect, if anything. Yes. Yeah. So that's that I've heard that a lot. I have, I have my own theories because I've been, I have been smoking daily for years and I think like I have REM sleep now and there's a ton of people who say you can't have REM sleep on marijuana. And I'm like, you should come into my head while I'm sleeping and tell me I'm lying because it's crazy up there. So, you know, I think that there is still studies to be done about the whole effect in the long-term usage versus short-term because it's completely different. Like I could give somebody advice who smoked every day, but wants to work out and now needs to try to incorporate that lifestyle into a, a healthy one. And so they have to fix the way they're smoking. Like if you're waking up and smoking and you're not eating, which I have a bad habit of sometimes I'll wake up and the first thing I'll do is smoke. And now my appetite's actually gone. Whereas I used to use it for my appetite. And that comes with long-term abuse and you have to really cut back and make sure you're not, you know, just overdoing it. So yeah. that's, that's just the inside of it. I do I want to say, Rem, go ahead. Sorry, Sam, you go. You're good. So I had the same type of effect as Dave where if I, I didn't time it for like two days necessarily, but I definitely noticed if I use it fairly regularly as a pre-workout, that the, that's a good way of putting it, the sense of urgency to uh, just accomplish the things that I want to accomplish throughout the day. You probably carry drastic, those. Drastically decreases. Yeah. And, and, but like what you mentioned about tolerance, just over this past seven or so days, I've been using um, caffeine since I was 18 or 19 years old. And I generally use caffeine pills. And over the past seven days, I've come off and it's been two days with no caffeine of any sort, no tea or anything. And no side effects. But what I did notice and this is, I'm 36, so this is, you know, 16, 17, 18 years. I noticed a increase in my energy and focus. I don't know, maybe You're it's a rebound. I don't know what it is. But some days I would take a gram. Like I would take 
you know, 1,000 milligrams of caffeine. Be a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting because have do you ever gone through, Zach, and experimented with uh, – taking your levels down for a short period of time. Cause I do this with caffeine where I come down to days where I'll only do 200 or 300, but I was like, okay, I do this with SARMs. I do this with gear. I do this with any other compound that I use. Why the fuck am I not doing this with caffeine? I need to do this with caffeine. So finally I was like, okay, today's the week. This is the week. And I just went down. And then now I know like probably this coming Sunday, I'll take, I have some tea again, but it's going to have a different effect. I mean, you ever try that with weed? So um, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I agree with you. And that mindset it is what makes me feel so guilty about what I'm about to say, because <laughs> you're right. I have all this respect for everything I put in my body, right? And I respect the weed I take, but I have an issue taking longer than a couple of days off. I, I'm very honest about that. And rather than saying it's because I'm stressed or my life is crazy, it really is just that I am addicted to it and I need it to function. And so... What I do is I do minimal doses, doses that keep me functional, but without having me psychoactive. And that is what I will use. In me. And I will do, I'll do that for a week or two, you know, but coming off completely, I really haven't done. And I've had plenty of conversations with myself. And a lot of my understanding of weed has come from my inability to stop smoking. So what I've done is I've learned how to incorporate it into a way where it's not affecting me. And there were times where I was waking up and hacking and things like that. And it was just, it was like a really bad habit for me. And I was really like not okay with my relationship with, with weed. So, um, so that, that maybe, um, maybe, you know, you I've know, been saying, I've been saying this about caffeine for probably 24 months and mm -hmm. I just did it today. So, you know, it, depending on what stories you're telling yourself and, you know, don't beat yourself up, but like maybe just now is not the time, but yeah, oh, I'm ready for it. As soon as I have that, as soon as I am mentally capable in my mind of doing it, which I'm, tr I'm trying my best not to make it sound like I'm not aware of what's going on. You know, I, I'm addicted to it, and I take it every day, and it's in my system. Um, and so, I just haven't taken the time to take three, three or four, even three or four days off. What I will do is wait until nighttime. You know, and I, and by the time I take even the smallest hit of a bowl, and it's been 15, 20 hours. I have such an effect. And if you compare that to what I smoked the day before, you know, it's like I basically stopped, but I didn't, you know? And so I can't say that I did. Um, and I think that that still means that I'm going to carry over the next day with THC in my system mm -hmm. and I'm going to be working through that. And so that's where stimulants come into play. I deal with lethargy, but I also deal with like constantly wanting to be improving myself. And if I'm not, I have a lot of guilt. And so I'm, I saw, I saw a meme of like some blunt wraps and a couple of weed nugs and they're like making fun of the stoner who's running out the door with his keys. And they're like, damn, he just never misses, huh? And it's a joke because every time he smokes, he's just out the door to go do something. And like, that's me. I don't sit around and smoke and not do something. I'm always trying to be functional and getting things done. And so it doesn't ever keep me from that, but it has. And you have to either beat it or stop, you know? Now, I'm just curious, just as a thought. So one, the body loves cycles. Damn. That's probably why I actually get more energy from drinking water in the morning. That's probably from deep being ADHD than caffeine. And also has to do with the circadian rhythm, the cortisol levels and stuff like that. Probably your adrenals aren't shot. Um, now, what I will... <laughs> Oh, right. so, yeah. 1,000 milligrams a day for a while. It's fine. That's some, yeah, it's fine. That's some, <laughs> prepping, that's some prepping doses right there where you just, you're dying. And you're like, I, I'm sorry, coach. I've had two bangs pre-workout and there's some stimulants in my fat burner. So here I am. Yo, I my step on bangs all throughout the day. Like just, five. I sip on like one bang throughout the whole day. Like we've talked about, if I take too much caffeine, I freaking crash. Yeah. Random, so weed story, random weed story. My buddy made cookies and gave me a cookie and my plan was to eat half the cookie but when i took a bite 70 percent of the cookie broke off and i had 30 percent in my hand and i've never been so high in my entire life i looked over at my wife i'm sitting on the couch and i was like i am way too high like this is bad and i i'm not good with weed like i wish i could use indica to go to sleep but i use alcohol whiskey and, and now i tried this this kicked my ass last night i don't even remember going to sleep but i also you can remember to help that by the way, what about CBD? 